Remember how in the last tutorial I said these wait for key presses? Well now we're going to actually get the key the user presses and act on it. This one, it's really, you gotta know so much just to understand this. It's so much more than how fast I, or how slow I've been teaching you. So you really need to play around with this and pay attention. Now we're going to go over something else. We're going to go over JE and JNE. JE and JNE are and jump. You saw jump went to, let's say I jump line 1, 2, 3. I jumped to the part of, I jumped to data 1, 2, 3. So what does JNE and JE do? These are conditional jumps. That means this is unconditional jump. This will jump to 1, 2, 3 no matter what. These will jump if something's called your flag returns something. JE says if the flag returns equals, then jump. And this one says if it returns not equals, then jump. Now, you may wonder what your flag is. You have this thing compare your CMP command in assembly. Compare allows you to compare a register with a value. And it, um, it sends the results into a flag. So it's just like the mob command register goes first and then value is second. So now you're going to have to open notepad here because we're going to have to do a lot of logging. We're just going to, because when you're coding um, debug like this, you're coding it like line base and you want to have somewhere to write down what you're doing so you don't get confused later. So CMD debug. Or let's say CD desktop first. So we'll write our file to the desktop. Now debug. A. Um, let's let's store three strings. So this is going to take a little while. We're going to say jump one two three. Let's jump a little further just in case. One three five. Define bytes. Are you cool? Um, you can Y N. Now, let's put a little colon and then like that. So that didn't take up much space, but let's log this so we don't forget it. So let's write 102 equals are you cool? This is so we don't forget the location 102 where we define the string are you cool? Because we're going to have to define a lot of strings and it'll start going off the console where you can't read it anymore. Let's go to A135. Let's jump even further to like 145. Um, say lol you a loser. This is what's going to say if you um it's going to say this if you say if you press um, any key but Y. Now let's log that that at 137 we define the bytes lol you a loser. Now let's for another string. Jump Let's make it if if you say if you press the Y key it's gonna say Yay, me too. Now let's store that at one five two we have yay me too now let's store one more string you may think this is boring but you actually you have to do this in debug you won't have to do this in like the flat assembler it's a lot quicker in the flat assembler um, we just want to get used to using debug before we move to the flat assembler jump 190 
um, define bytes, press any key to continue. Hold on. It, this is, I just made a mistake. 192 went further than my jump. So let's go back. A170. Jump. Let's go to 210. I don't think I've ever had a program that went this large before. So define bytes. Let's do this. Let's actually define um, 0 D 0 A press any key to continue. Let's just make sure that press any key to continue goes on a new line. Now we can should log this and say at 173 we stored press any key to continue. And if you want to make note that there's a new line before, I usually just put a backslash n to note that. But, um, oops, let's not save this. So, um, so you can do that if you want to note that there's a backslash there, a backslash n. But I'm not going to do that. So now let's actually start coding since we defined all, since we stored all our strings somewhere. Let's go to a210. Now we're going to just display our first strings. Um, mob ah09, mob dx102, um, and 21. So now it's going to ask, are you cool? Now we're going to have to do some more serious logging. What we're going to have to do, let's say mob a801. Remember how I said 01 lets you type in a key and then it displays it the key you type in and 08 hides the key if you want the key to be hidden um, make it 08 instead of 01 but to me it just looks more normal to have it show the key because that's the, how they normally do it so 01 and now we're going to execute it and now when you use the AH to get a key press it stores your key you typed in as a hex value in the AL register. So, so what we're going to do, we're going to compare the AL register with the hex of the key we want to, it to be. If you need to know the hex value of the key, go to run, type in your web browser, and go to ASCII.cl. Now once the web page loads, You should get um, ASCII codes table format of standard characters. This basically the ASCII is just in your computer. This is how all computers work. There's a number that represents every character. So we need to find the hex number um, that represents um, Y. And the hex number that represents Y is we want a lowercase y is 79 right there you can see it right there so what we're going to do we're going to compare AL to 79 that's going to compare remember I said the AL register is when you press a key it's going to send the um, the hex value of the key you typed in to the AL register so we're comparing the AL register with the hex 79. So what this is going to do is it's going to send the results of the comparison of the key you pressed with a uh, lowercase y. So let's press enter. And now that sends it to the a flag. Now flags, like I said, will store like the result. And now we can use jump equals to only jump if a at the key you press is equal to 79 so where do we want to jump this is somewhere else we want to log let's let's go like pretty far to like one no we're in the 200s now to like 260 and this is going to be for our je 
So that means um, it's only going to jump to this location in data, 260, which is really far from here. I don't think I need to go that far. Actually, I don't. I can, I'm going to change this to 240. 230. Um, J, um, so only if a, the AL register is equal to the hex value of 79, it's going to jump. So let's type that in. 230. Right? Yeah. So it's going to jump to 230. Now what happens if they're not equal? What we're going to do is JNE. So jump if the comparison returns not equal. And this time we're going to jump to let's say 260. So now 260 equals jump not equals. So now what we just did, we're going to pause for a key press. And if you press Y, it's going to jump to the position in data 230. If you press um, anything but Y, it's going to jump to 260. So that's a jump if not equals. So now let's go to 230, where where it jumps to if you typed in a lowercase y. Well, we're going to say mov a809. Um, mov dx now the value of yay me too so that's at 152 we can still see 152 so we didn't have to log that but it was best too in case you couldn't see it 152 this is if you pressed y now int 21 let's execute that now mob ah09 mob dx 172 let's display press the key to continue. No, actually I sorted out 173 because apparently it changed. Yeah, 173 and int 21. Execute that. Int 20. Let's end it. Now let's go to 260. We'll restore what happens if you press anything else. And now we're going to say mob A809 mob dx but you may say what's the value for the other one for if you press anything else so we can't scroll up and see it because it's gone now that's why we logged it here and lol you will lose is 137 137 let's execute that mob ah09 mob dx 173 Int 21. Oh, right here, I forgot to make it say press any key to continue. I forgot to make it pause. You notice that you were smart, but it, but I'm not going to. I don't feel like going back and fixing that. But I'll just go ahead and go back and fix it just in a little while. Mob ah08 to pause it. Int 21 int 20. It shouldn't be that hard to fix. So where I messed up was right here. Let's go to A23E. And instead of ending my code there, I want to say mob AH08. Um, then int 21, then int 20. Now, hex 244. Or wait, we actually ended our code at 127. 127? Or no, 274. Why did I say 127? 274. 100. And 174. So let's RCX. 174. Name. Test.com. Right. Quit. Now let's type in test. Are you cool? In. And it's going to say, lol, you will lose up, press any key to continue. But let's run that command again. And are you cool? And I'm going to press a Y, and it's going to say, yay, me too, and press any key to continue. I could have put the new line before me, yay, me too, to make it look nicer. I just forgot to. Um, you can go do that next time. But if I press anything besides yay, um, Y, it's going to say, lol, you will lose up. But if I press 
Why? It's going to say, yay, me too. So that's an example of how to get a user key press. This is a really long tutorial because this is very complicated. So remember, CMP um, compares um, a flag, or CMP compares a register with a value and returns and, and sends the results to a flag. Jump JE jumps if the flag is returns equals. It's um, JNE jumps if the flag returns not equals. And then a, the AL register is when you can check for a key press. Um, it sends the hex of the key you press into AL. So that's it for this. Next next tutorial, I'm not exactly sure what I'll go over, but that's it for this one.